are not up to the attic. Looks like the attic is locked. Okay, then. Then we are done. Awesome. So we just gotta go out of the house. I think it's the store that leads to the main hall. Yeah, it is. It is a store. I, I kind of have my mental map going. It it's not very good, though. I'm not good with figuring out where the heck I'm going or anything. Went through there. Went through there. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. Well, she has a memory about the lockers. Yes, yeah, she does. It's a small locker. But my... But... It was it was just for me. My name was even on it. They made me feel welcome. I was so happy. I'd move my shoes in and out over and over again. Wow. Poor Jennifer. One day, Mr. Hoffman suddenly disappeared. Clara and Miss Martha soon followed, leaving me and the other orphans alone. Aha! That's a big point there. Dot, dot, dot. We never used umbrellas. On snowy days, we'd go out for snowball fights. On rainy days, we'd go out and play in the rain and get soaking wet. Every time, Xavier would trip and get himself all muddy, and we'd all laugh. It was so much fun. But that is a huge point there. Everyone, di they disappeared after a while. All of them. And thus, they probably died. Did they die? Wait, no. It's Wendy. Wendy. I guess that's how they greeted each other every day. Aww. Aww. Wendy's face is so sad. Where are you going? Please, don't leave me. You can come. Fine, be that way. You can come if you want. Her face is so sad. That makes me sad inside. Jennifer, you heartless girl. Be nice to Wendy. She clearly likes you. And you just were complaining that you don't have any friends. Well, maybe this is why. Fine, Jennifer, just keep walking away. Not like I'm controlling you or anything. Cough, cough. I heard puppy! Are we going to visit Brown? Brown, this is where I found you. I think. I don't know. I, I found your collar here. Please wait for me. I'll be there. The rickety shed. Brown. Oh, Brown's just a little puppy. Oh, so tiny. Oh, so cute. I'm not mad at you anymore for being a glitchy noob. Just don't get yourself killed, okay? Here, do you wanna, um... 
Here, can I give you a dumbstruck? No, I can't give you the dumbstruck. Okay. Fine. So, I wonder where I have to go next. Yeah, I know, Brown. Shut up. Maybe I have to go back to the orphanage and Wendy will be like, Lol, I'm gone. Because you went to go see Brown. Uh, I'm not quite sure about this game. It's so confusing still. I mean, yeah, some of this did give closure, but it wasn't that clear. Little kid Jennifer is actually faster than older Jennifer, I think. I can't quite tell, but I think she might be. Hmm. Wendy's gone. Where the heck do I go? I'm lost. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Did something happen in the Once Upon a Time or something? I don't know. There needs to be words in this book. Oh, there's nothing in this book. Oh. The Rose Garden Orphanage. That day I was escorted from this from the scene by Officer Doolittle. At first, it was reported that there were no survivors. Then, word got out that, miraculously, I had escaped the tragedy. When rumors spread that I was also the sole survivor of a horrific airship accident in which the passengers were all presumed to be dead, the meteor went into a frenzy. And so, the tragic murder of the residents of a rural orphanage was bumped from the front cover of the daily newspaper to an obscure corner. I'm sorry, everyone. You don't deserve to be forgotten. But I'll remember you. Thank you for all the precious memories. There was murders? What? It, it, is that what that last day meant? With the stray dog coming and killing them. Is that guy really... Or maybe he's just some creepo that came and killed them all. I am very confused now. There was nothing hinting about that. Except for the last day when they all, like, screamed. But... I mean... Uh, I, I mean, um, I am confused. I am so confused. What am I supposed to be doing? Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. I don't know. I think this is the way where that bus stop was. Thing. I don't know. I forget. It's been too long since I played the beginning of the game. I think it was. I think this is where the bus stop is. Wow, Jennifer looks tired. She gave her a rest. I guess maybe after the murders and stuff. She was just so traumatized that she ended up reliving part of her life as an adult, or something. I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of confused. But at the same time, things make sense, but then that makes no sense. Where, where did these murders come from? Just... Creepy guy, creepy guy. I won't go talk. 
Are you